This is the only control net model you need from now on. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? The new control net union model for SDXL has been released and this works for every control net model out there. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to go to the Hugging Face page. And here you can see we have Control Net Union SDXL 1.0. And you can see here in the preview, it works with all of these different beautiful methods, depth maps, scribbles, segmentation, DV posts, open posts, you name it, it works with it. You can also scroll down to see more examples of that. It is really useful and now we are not having this hustle anymore of having to load different kinds of files and also clogging up our hard drive with all of these files. Okay, so of course what you need to do is to go to files and versions here and there you can see we have a diffusion PyTorch model.save tensor file. You want to download that, it has 2.51 gigabytes. Now, the question here is where do you store your files? I store my files inside of the automatic 1111 folder, which means I'm storing it inside of the models folder and they are inside of the control net folder. You might have another location, like for example, directly in ComfUI. And by the way, this right now, of course, as always, is working with ComfUI. This is why you should start using ComfUI. It gets the good stuff always first. So after you've downloaded that and put it into the folder, you want to head over to ComfUI. Here I made a very simple build. It's just text to image. We have here our checkpoint model. I'm using Chugganaut version 9, the lightning model. I have here my empty latent, my positive and negative prompt. And then down here already we have apply control net. And for that, of course, you need a control net input and an image input. Now the control net input is load control net model. And here you can see we have the diffusion PyTorch model dot save tensor. I think you can rename that to something that means a little bit more to you and it should still work completely fine. And then of course the image input is not the image you want to use. It is the pre-processed map really important to keep that in mind. For that, I'm using the control net preprocessor node from the ComfyUI Art Venture Pack. The reason why I'm using that is because in here I can choose from all of the different preprocessors. I can choose the version. Of course, in this case, we have to use SDXL and then you can also adjust the resolution. As you can see here, I used multiple of those. I'm not using them to apply them to the control net. I'm just showing them to you that you can create all of that with the same node. Here we have our input image, which is also an AI image rendered with Juggernaut. And in this case, I'm just using Scribble, but you can play around depth map, Kenny, whatever you want. Of course, this is going in here into apply control net. And as you know, or might know, control net is not something that is applied to the latent image. It is applied to the conditioning of your text prompt, interestingly enough. So of course, we come out here from our positive prompt. We have the conditioning going into apply control net. And then on the other side, the conditioning comes out and goes into our case sampler for the positive prompt input, of course. And then because I'm using a lightning model, I'm using in this case eight steps, CFG scale two, sampler DPM plus plus SDE with a scheduler of Keras and a denoise of one. I'm using here an empty latent image, just so you know, there is no image connected to the input. And of course, as you can see, this works fantastic. We get a really good output that is also very similar to our input image. And that's how that works. That's everything you need to know about this new control net model. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like that. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.